Hey, good Monday to you. I'm Storm Team 9 Meteorologist Patrick Ellis here with your ENC Weather Update for this October the 21st, 2013. A gorgeous day setting up for us, but it is a chilly start. Temperatures in the 30s, 40s, and 50s across eastern North Carolina. The good thing is we're going to warm up as we head through the afternoon hours, but the bad thing is, is that later in the forecast period, we're talking about temperatures likely going to be maxing out where our low temperature will be tonight. We're going to be in the mid to upper 50s tonight. Our high temperatures that later this week will likely be somewhere around those numbers. So we'll get you to check out the forecast here in the update video and uh, look ahead into the next seven days. Always nice to take a look back uh, from last night. This is from Bruce Metter down in uh, Kitty Hawk, well over in Kitty Hawk rather, the uh, Outer Banks boxers enjoying the beautiful sunset we had across eastern North Carolina last night and had a beautiful sunrise here as well. Uh, currently 45 in Greenville, now up to 46 with that latest update. 46 at Washington, 53 the current temperature at New Bern, 56 in Moorhead City, 63 degrees at Hatteras, 47 the current temperature for Kenansville. Let's take you through the uh, True View forecast, something new we're going to try out here. On, uh, with the uh, updates and uh, just kind of take you through the day. Here's noontime. I think mostly sunny skies for inland areas, northern areas as well. We'll be around the uh, mid, uh, the uh, lower to mid 60s at this point. Uh, topping out in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Mostly sunny skies for inland spots. Nothing too bad out there. Even by 5 o'clock, we're still going to be looking at mostly sunny skies. A few clouds down to the south should make for a nice evening uh, for inland areas. Now we head to the south, and here's what we got going on, Jack. Jacksonville, Havelock, Moorhead City, few clouds starting to stream in here. I think mostly sunny skies through a good portion of the day, and then the clouds start to build in as we head towards, say, 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And that's ahead of our little moisture field that's going to try to back into the region as well. Uh, temperatures are right around the 70 degree mark as we head through the afternoon hours, maybe low 70s in a few pockets like, say, Moorhead City, for instance. And we could see a few showers through the overnight hours. Here's a look at the wide view. You see by midnight. Night, maybe a few showers down for uh, coastal portions of Carteret County, also Onslow County, the uh, Outer Banks, the Core Banks, and you'll see the clouds increasing from south to north through the overnight hours, and uh, even a few little sprinkles here and there. I think we go uh, partly to mostly cloudy across inland areas along the coast, mostly cloudy skies uh, expected through the overnight hours. Here's what we got going on on the wide scale. You see that little fetch of moisture coming up off the Gulf of Mexico along the stationary boundary. That's going to get kicked out of here by this frontal boundary that's coming down out of the high plains at this point, moving through the Mississippi and Ohio, uh, getting close to the Ohio River Valley at this point. It will continue to make its way off towards the east, and that's our first frontal battery. The second one comes in here as we head towards your day on Wednesday, so we'll take you through the precision forecast model once again. Here's 12 p.m. tomorrow, and it just looks cloudy at that point. I don't think that we're going to see very much in the way of shower activity. Precipitable water value is very low, even with this little moisture fetch. And that should be kicking, getting kicked offshore fairly quickly, but we'll have enough, enough moisture for some clouds, maybe a shower or two, but nothing too serious, even going through this whole uh, this whole time frame. Tomorrow evening, here's 7 o'clock, just with most of the cloudy skies, we'll get a dry patch in here by Wednesday morning. Uh, should be able to see some sunshine through the afternoon hours, maybe a shower on Wednesday, about 10 to 20 percent. Then by the evening hours, we're completely clear, and that's the second frontal boundary pushing through the area. That's the big cool down. Uh, right behind that, we go to 70 today, mostly sunny skies, just a slim chance for a shower, mainly for coastal areas. Mostly cloudy for your Tuesday, 72 with a 20% chance for a shower, and really and truly, it doesn't look like many of us are going to see that shower, uh, mainly for coastal areas. And then northern areas, possibly for Wednesday, We'll go to 68, partly cloudy skies, likely with clouds in the morning, sunshine uh, peeking out through the afternoon hours. And with that frontal boundary passing through, we'll go down to 40 that night. Thursday, we'll go mostly sunny, 60 the high temperature, 43 that evening, a few more clouds trying to get in here. But look what happens on Friday, full sunshine, and we only make it to 55 degrees. That would be an average temperature across eastern North Carolina in January, not in October. So some very chilly stuff. Overnight low temperature, 35, and very likely 
uh, kind of looking over the numbers, could see our first frost. And for some, our first freeze of the season, especially for areas north and west of Greenville uh, with this system that's rolling through 58 on Saturday with a mostly sunny skies, mostly sunny on Sunday as well, when we try to rebound back into the low 60s. That'll do it for me here on the ENC Weather Update. Stay up to date with us on Facebook as well as Twitter and on WNCT.com. Next update here by tomorrow morning. Have a great rest of your day and a great weather week ahead.